Hello and welcome to Postcard and a Pint. I'm Rachel. I'm Wills. And today sees the end of our Vegas series. Oh, oh I bet everyone at home's going. Thank God for that. We're a bit Vegas out, to be honest now. <laughs> Sick of it. We've missed the castles and the mountains and, and the, the beaches. And the beaches. And fear not. Coming yeah. soon. Your normal service will resume next yeah, week. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so in today's video. In today's video, we head downtown Vegas to Fremont Street. Oh, Ooh, sorry, I just bashed the cat on the head. <laughs> to Fremont Street. Yes, we do. Um, and share with you what we thought of that area there. Because we've only just recorded the voiceover yeah. for that. Downstairs, recorded that. Upstairs, recording this. With a cup of coffee because Rachel has to go to work in a bit. Not dry January. It's just I've still got, I've got to drive. I've got to operate a car in the next hour mm, or so. Boring. Anyway, come with us to downtown Vegas and I hope you enjoy it. We'll have a bit of a natter at the end. <laughs> Heart Attack Grill. That was a weird place, That wasn't is it? a wacky old concept, that is. It was like a burger bar, wasn't it? A burger bar with a difference. <laughs> yeah, you, you had loads of food and if you didn't eat it, you got spanked by nurses. I think you have to wear a hospital gown yeah. and the aim is to eat as much as you can. And, and if I you, think if you eat it all, you get it for free, I If think. you eat a stupid amount, you get it for free, but if you don't finish it, you get spanked by the nurses. I mean, there were some big people in there, weren't there? Were there? Th and there's scales outside as well, aren't there? I just oh, had a I, I flashback. So, like, it looked like a, almost like an airline weighing luggage trolley. Um, and, yeah, I don't know, but I just can't imagine that in this country at all. It was all a bit weird, <laughs> wasn't it? Very strange. Anyway, Fremont Street. Yeah. Did you like downtown Vegas? Oh, I loved it. It was probably my favourite part of Vegas. Mm, I agree. It reminded me of what I think in my mind Vegas was kind of all about. Yeah. It's more about the lights, the glamour, the glitz, rather than the themed hotels and production yeah. shows, wasn't yeah. it? And, and theatre shows. And it's a little bit seedy. It was a little bit seedy. You but, can just ooh. kind of, oh, hello. Hello. Naughtiness. Rudy girls. You can just kind of imagine Frank Sinatra or Dean Martin, you know, the Rat yeah. Pack. Sammy Davis Jr. sort of hanging yeah. out. I like going in these old casinos. Oh, hello, is that rude? What is she doing, that lady? Yeah. She's not a lady. <laughs> She's not a lady, is she? Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, hello. Anyway, uh, I was saying, I quite like going in some of these older casinos as well. Me too. Yeah. They, what, I, what I did like was we went into one which isn't on this strip here, but it was in downtown Vegas, which was called El Cortez. And it was the only one I think we went in. It's the only one left, isn't it, that does this? I don't know, but it was the only casino we went in that physically paid out in money. Coins. Or in physical coins, rather than a bit of paper saying how much you'd won. Showgirls. Showgirls, yeah. <laughs> and It just gave the atmosphere, didn't it, having the you clink, had that the, clink, yeah, clink, 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 and... That you kind of associate with old Vegas films. Yeah, and that's missing out of all the casinos now. Yeah. As you get your piece of paper telling you you've won five dollars fifty. Oh, but yeah, I kind of like them inside. There was no pretense of glitz and glam. You've got a feeling they haven't changed I mean, they're all quite garish much. anyway, but yeah. they're, they're not trying to be Venice, Venice or, or, or Disneyland New York. or yeah. Whatever. Well, the whole of Vegas, we say, is a bit Disneyland, isn't it? Well, it's <laughs> Vegas pretty much is a theme park for the, for the well, not necessarily for the rich, but certainly for, for adults. adults. And people who like to throw money away. And a lot of people yeah. did like to throw money away. <laughs> oh, and there was a stage here as well. Yes. And there's live music on, I think, most nights. And again, it's free. Yeah. Well, just as the light show is free. Yeah, no, the light show. Have we mentioned the light no, show? have mentioned the light show, Okay, yeah. well, if you, you may notice, just, oh, we can't see it in this clip. The arch, there we there go. go. The little arch, the ceiling piece a is, a, is a big arch. <laughs> is a big old video wall or video piece. And basically, oh, this Ooh, is the this start, is the of, the start light show. of the light show. And um, what they do is, it, it is a presentation which happens every hour from 6 till 2, I think it is. 6 p.m. till 2 a.m. They have to shut two roads across it. Yeah, um, and, it, and it lasts about six and a half, seven minutes. Ooh. And I believe this video is showing the whole light show, but obviously without the music that was playing <laughs> at the time. That's what makes me laugh. The zip wire. There's a zip line right across the top, and like you're watching the light show, and, and then. There goes one. Their <laughs> bodies go whoop, past they go. Which is quite yeah, funny. Yeah, it is. Do you know what it reminded me of? What? The Beatles. Oh, I, I know Sergeant Pepper. It was isn't very it? psychedelic, and even the music was a bit. I don't know, Indian. There were a few sort of 60s. Yeah. Sort of that artwork, that kind of stuff. That yeah. Was swirling. It's a bit Sergeant Peppers, isn't it? Yeah. Now, I have to say, I did enjoy it, but I would say after about three minutes, I was bored. 
Yeah, which is why we're talking over this bit because you get <laughs> bored if we just shut up and yeah, and let you watch, you watch it. it. And you can't have the real minutes. music anyway because we'll get a copyright claim. Exactly. So. Well, it was pretty, but Vegas in general. Vegas in general. What did you make of Vegas in general? Will? Well, we've already mentioned that it, it's a bit fake, but we did like it. it as, we, as we say, it's like a, a Disneyland for for adults. And um, I'd definitely go there again. Yeah, I loved it. What I loved is because we weren't expecting to go. Remember those yeah, days? Yeah, we mentioned that, didn't we? <laughs> we were looking at going somewhere today and I had to go through what tests do I need? What do... You have to plan everything so far in advance now. There's no spontaneous, I'm going to get on a plane tomorrow now. No. You've got to like jump through all the hoops and fill in all the forms before you can do anything. So that was what was brilliant, is we weren't expecting to go. And we didn't really know what to expect either. Well, we we didn't have done time a... to do any research. Well, we didn't do our research. <laughs> we knew a couple of shows that we kind of wouldn't yeah. have minded seeing. One of the ones we wanted to see wasn't on. Yeah. Um, was, I think if I did Vegas, or if we, sorry, I'm not going on my own. <laughs> if we did Vegas again, yeah. I would definitely do it again, but I wouldn't do it for as long. No, we went we, for a week, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, I think I'd probably do three nights or so there. As and part of as the two or three of, centre or somewhere else. As part else. of a bigger holiday, I'd love to do a US rail um, holiday, not for all of US because it's massive. Yeah, I'd love to do the canyon again. Yeah, I'd do the canyon again, but I think I'd like to stay in some somebody um, put up about some lodges near the canyon. By the Bright Angel yeah, Lodge. And stay somewhere like that and get up and see the sunrise and watch the sunset and just maybe do some of the hikes. Yeah. Um, because the helicopter was incredible and we were so lucky to do it. And if we did it again, I'd like to go to the one that takes you inside the canyon. Yeah. And well, I'd like to hike down it, it would just be, it would be stunning, good, stunning views. Yeah. Um, yeah, I I enjoyed... Um, we loved it, really. We, yeah, I mean, we, we loved, loved the whole thing. We loved the whole thing. I think that's the standout special day. I have to say, I think this comes second, actually. The downtown area of yeah. Vegas. Much as all the hotels are grand and beautiful and lavish and perfect, there's no designer shops down here. <laughs> we we could afford things in these shops. Yeah. We bought some tacky t-shirts, didn't we? We came, I think, the following morning or, or the last morning we were there. Yeah. And bought a few souvenirs, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, because we could afford them from here. Yeah. <laughs> Luckily, I bought you a photo album. And for Christmas, I printed out all our photos, oh, about 250 of the things. Which I'm glad I did because the hard drive that the pictures were on died. It did. So I've lost all those pictures, or at least the digital versions of those pictures, but luckily I printed them all out for you. Good job, you're so nice, isn't it? In it. And, um, I don't know, my favourite hotel. Uh, I don't know if it's Caesar's Palace or New York, New York. One of the two. One of the two. One thing I do slightly regret is yep. we were staying in the Westgate, which, as we mentioned in the first one, used to be the Hilton, which was where Elvis <sighs> used to perform. And I wish we'd have gone into, I mean, especially being theatre people yeah. ourselves, I wish we'd have gone into the theatre. Or asked if we could have done a tour. Or at least had yeah. a nosy in there. We didn't We didn't even step foot in there. We didn't nope. see it, did we? No. Nope. And that, that's one thing I wish we had done. Yeah, to see. And also maybe even asked nicely if we could have gone upstairs, because did he not have the suites at the top of the West Gate? I think so, yeah. Or something like that. So that would have been cool. Yeah. I don't know what else to say now. No, oh, there it, goes one. There goes one. <laughs> Are we coming up to the end of the live show? Um, nearly. I believe there's cats near the end. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. What else can we talk about? I don't know. Um, worst hotel. Go on. Worst hotel. Well, you're going to say the stratosphere, aren't you? Uh, it ties. It's, yeah, go on. I'm going to say the stratosphere for the worst hotel and then Circus Circus. I liked Circus Circus, <laughs> but it just seemed a bit old and tatty, didn't it? If, yeah. it, if it had a bit of money spent on Ooh, it, which it may what, well have done. Yeah, I'll tell you what we did see. Oh, I know what you're going to say as well, the Riviera. The Riviera was being pulled down. Mm. And I think I've still got some photographs um, of just the last bit of frontage, the round bit, just before... Um, and I think it went a couple of weeks after we left, didn't it? Yeah, they, do, they, they, they were doing it in stages. It up, didn't they? they were doing it in stages, pulling bits down. and. It was kind of sad to see it in a way. It was just sort of standing there on the corner of yeah. the circus, circus, and then of course next to it is the Wynn, which is one of the most posh hotels. The Wynn wasn't next to. Well, it was close. No, the Riviera was on the way to Circus Circus from our hotel. It was on the corner opposite Circus Circus. Was it? Yes. Oh, okay. And then you go down a bit, and there's the Wynn. Oh yeah. 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 And now, you <laughs> <So> <laughs> now I know we're coming up to the end because we've got cats. Cats, cats everywhere. But um, yes, 
I was a little bit bored towards the end of it. But well, I'm still quite so Yeah, absolutely. I'll, I'll go again, to be honest. So what was your worst hotel? I told you. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> that was um, mine. That was the Probably the stratosphere. The stratosphere. But, I was, I've said this to a few people this week, don't not go to the stratosphere because the view from the top is oh, incredible. Quickly before we stop, we would like to point out that the stratosphere did used to have a roller coaster. It did, on it. I found it. We, we've, there's video, there's yeah. YouTube video footage of it. And I'd have done that one. We would have done, it looked a bit scary. It was called the High Roller. High Roller, and now the High Roller is it's the, the wheel big wheel. At the link. At the link on the monorail. Yeah. That's one of the best things we did as well, getting a monorail ticket. Yes. Yeah. Because we, we took that most days, didn't we? We did indeed. Anyway, I think we're getting to the end of yeah. this video. We should say now. like, subscribe. And... So, well, we'll say that. Oh, in no, a minute, we're going to we... do a chat in a minute. We'll see you in a minute by the fireplace. God, I don't know what we're going to talk about. We've just talked about it all. No idea. <laughs> but we'll finish off. Yeah. So, bye for now. Bye for now. Uh, see ya. So there you have it. That was Downtown Vegas and the end of our Vegas series. Well, kind of. I mean, it is the end of our Vegas series, but tomorrow night, we're going to put out a video of just the helicopter flight over the Grand Canyon. Uh, quite a few people have mentioned it, said, oh, we love the views, love the views. And so we thought we'd just put the yeah, whole thing on Yeah, we're not going to be in it. We're not in it. We're, we're not, not talking. Talk. We're not going to do any God. daft jokes. <laughs> Everyone says, thank God for that. So, yeah, I have to say, I've really loved reliving this holiday mm -hmm. on this, these, over these videos. And I've remembered loads of stuff that had gone yeah. from my mind. So it's been really nice to bring it back, but I have to say I'm very glad the Vegas series is over. Yeah. Bit Vegas out now, and a normal service will resume next week. We've used the time productively. We've been out and about. We have. We filmed a few things. Yep. Yeah, and I'm quite excited because today... She booked a flight. Don't tell them that. Oh, okay. Okay, we've got an idea for another series. We can't make them too often, but it's a really cool idea for another series. We think it is. So if you want to know what it is, you better stay watching. Yeah. So over to you for the like, subscribe. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, if you've liked the video, if you could help us by hitting that like button, that, that would be lovely. Must also remember to say that when we get to 500 subscribers, which hopefully won't be before too much longer, could be a few weeks, could be a few months, but when we get there, we've already announced we're going to do a Q&A. We are. And we've had tons and tons of really good questions so far, but there's still time for more. Yep. And even if you've sent one, send another. Mm. And we'll record that. When we get to 500, we'll record that and put that out. And put that out. As a bit of a thank you. And a get to know us a bit better, if you want to. If you really want if to. If you don't, skip that week and watch the following week. <laughs> we'll be going somewhere pretty with lakes, mountains and castles. And beaches. <laughs> and beaches. Yeah. Right, okay, we'll say goodbye now and we'll go away. So, uh, with my cup of tea. And my cup of coffee. We're going to say... Cheers, cheers to, to the, the good, good times. times. What did Elvis say when he was handed a burger at a barbecue? I don't know. What did Elvis say when he was handed a burger at a barbecue? I won't eat nothing but a hot dog. Oh, God. That was pretty bad, actually. I'm disgusted with myself. <laughs>